Warren Buffett made Kraft Heinz Company a big position in his portfolio in Q3 2015 when the price was around $70. At its peak, it made up over 22.5% of his portfolio. So if Buffett believed it was a good investment at $70, is it a buy now when the price is down by around 53%? Let's find out. We will start with the recent quarterly results. Revenue is up by 1%. Net income is down by 41.7%. Cash is up by 1.1%. And the debt is also up, but only by 0.2%. So why is income down so much? Well, the management said that there are a number of reasons for that, like higher tax expenses, higher supply chain costs, investments in marketing, technology, research and development, increased commodity costs, and an unfavorable impact from foreign currencies. So basically what they are saying is that the whole world is against them. That's not good. If you were to invest $1,000 into Kraft Heinz company just after the merger of those businesses in 2015, you could buy around 12 shares. And today they would be worth something close to $400. But what about the dividends? Well, through the years, you would receive $210 as dividends. So if we add the current value of shares and the dividends, we get $610. So that is a loss of 39% since 2015. Not the best outcome. Individual insiders, that is an X, 0.3% of the company is owned by individual insiders. And we would like to see this number over 2%. So the management does not have its skin in the game. And are individual insiders buying? That is also an X, we see only sale transactions in the recent months. And do super investors own this company? That is a check. There are seven super investors that own shares of this company, including, of course, Warren Buffett. And he actually owns 26.5% of the company. That is impressive. And are super investors buying right now? That is an X. Super investors bought over 20,000 shares and sold almost 54,000 shares. Return on invested capital, that is an X at 2.9%. And we want to see this number higher than 10%, so that is a disappointing result. And free cash flow growth, that is also an X at just 2% growth rate. Not very impressive either. And what do we know about net profit margin? It is a check at 11% and the industry average is 7.1%. So that is a first nice result so far. And now let's take a look at share buyback. It is an X. There were no meaningful share buybacks since the merger between Kraft and Heinz in 2015. But it's not bad. At least they are not issuing a lot of new shares. Now, let's take a look at the debt. It is also an X. It would take six and a half years to pay the long-term debt with a five-year average free cash flow. That is a red flag. In this new environment of higher interest rates, debt can easily become a real problem for a lot of companies. And such debt is substantial. The dividend yield is 4.9%. So in the last 12 months, shareholders got $1.60 per every share through dividends. So that is an impressive dividend. And the payout ratio? 
that is an X at 13.1%. And we want to see it somewhere between 20 and 50%. But it's much better when it is too low than when it is too high. All it means is that we could expect a slightly bigger dividend with such earnings. And what do we know about dividend growth? It is an X at 0%. For the last five years, the dividend is exactly the same at $1.60 per year. Of course, we would like it to grow, but at least it seems very predictable. And for some investors, that can be a value in itself. Price to earnings ratio is 12.5, so that's pretty low. But to properly value it, we will use a discounted cash flow formula. We will estimate the growth of Kraft Heinz company for the next 10 years, and because the future can surprise us in many ways, we will make three scenarios of this growth. And free cash flow changed quite substantially in the last years. So we will use a five-year average free cash flow to better represent the real state of the company in the long run. So in the low scenario, we will estimate a growth of 3% for the first five years and then 2%, in the medium 4% and then 3%, and in the high scenario 5% for the entire 10 years. Now, why did I use such estimates? Well, analysts predict that the food market between 2023 and 2028 will grow at an annual rate of 3.4%. And if we look at the long-term growth rate of Kraft Heinz company, we see that the revenue went up by 3.8% and free cash flow went up by 2%. So all scenarios are close to those results. Low is a little worse, high is a little better, but they all seem probable. And so with such estimates, the intrinsic value in the low scenario is $17, in the medium scenario $19, and in the high scenario $23. But we are not finished yet. We have to add a margin of safety. The bigger it is, the better. Because it gives us more room for mistakes. And that can save us a lot of money. I use a 30% one, but you can use any margin that makes you feel comfortable. So with such a margin, we get in the low scenario $12, in the medium $13, and in the high one $16. And the current price is around $33. It is all in the red. Kraft Heinz looks expensive at the current time. This company has a nice and stable dividend that may even go up because the payout ratio is not that high. But growth is slow and debt is very substantial. Also, the price does not look too appealing. Tell me in the comments what do you think about this company, but for me it is a pass. But if you want to know more about its competitors, then you may want to check out my analysis of General Mills by clicking over here. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.